A few years ago, we noticed that we had a tree mortality issue here in Mariposa County. And we began saying, hey, we have a problem. And it wasn't really recognized uh, as the largest problem brewing at the time. And so we continued to notice growing tree mortality. And we became known as the epicenter of the current tree mortality um, issue throughout the Sierras. This is an example of the pitch tubes that indicate that this tree has been attacked by bark beetles. The red that you see in the pitch tubes means that the tree is actually losing the battle. We are a local partnership office. Uh, we would not have a presence here if it were not for the Mariposa County Resource Conservation District. And uh, they provide us office space. They provide staffing to help us do our work here and to serve the, the people here in Mariposa County. We have a partnership with uh, Point Blue Conservation Science and they provide a, a partner biologist for us to help us get our work done as well. Last year, 2017, we were recognized as the California Association of Resource Conservation Districts Outstanding Planning Conservation Planning Partnership. And it was thanks to the effort of this, this whole team of people. When I first came to the office about six or seven years ago, there were roughly 17 contracts. And uh, it, it grew a little bit over the first couple of years, 34 contracts, 54 contracts. And then we had the tree mortality issue. And we began having six, seven people coming in every single day asking for our assistance. And they would come in to us with a little bit of hope. Um, maybe we could help them because they couldn't find help anywhere else. We were able to do hundreds of projects in the Mariposa County area and specifically here in the Jerseydale area thanks to the funding from the Environmental Quality Incentives Program and the Joint Chiefs Stewardship Initiative to provide things like forest thinning and tree pruning and woody residue treatment, trying to help with this extra load of woody materials that came from all this tree mortality. We had areas where maybe there should have been 100 to 250 trees per acre, depending on the size of the trees. And we were working in areas that had at least 10 times that amount. And each tree needs its own sunlight and its own nutrients and its own water. And we were able to provide services to help them clean up the forest, thin it, try to reduce the fire hazards, and try to restore forest health. So right now we're experiencing the Ferguson fire here. And it is the latest fire that uh, we've been able to help reduce the fuel loading enough in certain areas that they've been able to utilize some of our areas to stop the fire completely or to utilize some of the areas to do backfires because we've connected many projects, many private landowners projects through this area and treated hundreds of acres out here. Uh, it's, it's provided the ability to protect this area. My name's Elaine Seymour, and I live on Apperson Road and Heights Cove, right on the corner. They looked at the property, walked around, and said, hey, this is very defensible. Do you think that's because of the, the work that you worked with NRCS with? Definitely, no doubt. If my husband was here, he'd tell you the same thing. Yes, it, and not only that, right now you can even notice how the trees are prospering. Um, there's new growth, and that wouldn't have happened before.